Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spin Cycle, the show for short reviews of albums new and old. And I'm sorry that I missed last week, but I was just so busy I wasn't able to get a video up, but here I am again this week. And today I will be talking about the new album by Two Cellos called Score, which was released on March 21st, 2017. I'm taking a little break from metal for an episode to talk about my second favorite genre of music, orchestral music. And specifically, I'm looking at the Croatian dueling cellist, Two Cellos. Luka Sulic and Stepan Hauser met one another as teens in a master class in Croatia, both of them as cellists. They went their separate ways after that class in Croatia to study, but ultimately they reunited when they both had financial troubles while studying in London. And interestingly, they were often competing against one another prior to working together. But they rose to fame when they released a video online of their cover of Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. And let's be honest, Two Cellos has some amazing videos. Their videos are almost as cool as their musical talent, and I'll actually link to a few of them below. Definitely watch the Thunderstruck video because it is just brilliant. And their sudden celebrity landed them a deal with Sony Masterworks, who's mostly known for producing classical music, so their sound definitely kind of fit in with this classical music, even though they do covers of a lot of modern pop music. There's certainly something enchanting about cello music. Artists like Apocalyptica and Kronos Quartet, specifically with two cellos, their fusion of rock and pop with classical sound is unique and definitely great to listen to. Most of their studio released music is covers, though they have produced a few of their own original songs. And they've covered artists such as Nirvana, Iron Maiden, Coldplay, Muse, Elton John, to name just a few. Score is their fourth studio album, and it's their fourth release on Sony Masterworks following 2015's Celloverse. The London Symphony Orchestra backed the songs as well, and the arrangements were done by Robin Smith. Score doesn't feature any original music. It's all covers of music from films and television, including Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, Cinema Paradiso, and Titanic. So I do have to treat this one a little bit differently than most albums I review. But being a fan of many of these songs in their original form, I definitely wanted to hear Two Cellos' take on it. Like I said, cello music is enchanting, and Two Cellos bring that gripping sound to score. The covers here are all very emotional and powerful. They use the likes of artists such as Hans Zimmer, Ennio Morricone, James Horner, all of whom I love. And they definitely tap into their more classical side with the choices here. None of the songs have the same speed as, say, Thunderstruck or The Trooper. They are much more melodic and passionate, and their talent is vividly apparent throughout this album. One of the downsides, though, is how much influence the orchestra has on the music. It isn't only the cellos like we've heard on some of the other releases. Now, I'm not complaining about the sound because, like I said, I love orchestral music, but the overall impact means a lot of the music is the orchestra versus just the two cellos. My top five songs from the album, there are 14 songs, so this was really tough. For the Love of a Princess off of the Braveheart score is a powerful song here and one of my all-time favorite film scores, and they do a wonderful job with it. Love Story, which is one of the songs I wasn't familiar with, but it works beautifully with the cellos. It's very passionate. My Heart Will Go On from Titanic, which is just a great choice to showcase their musicianship. Whether you like the song or not, the melody of it is perfect for two cellos. Malena from the film of the same name, which captures the raw emotion that Ennio Morricone always brings to his compositions, two cellos definitely tapped into that here. And Now We Are Free, which was the perfect way to close out the album. It's the closing track from the Gladiator score, and it just works so well. The video for it is also amazing. But my favorite song has to be the one that they released prior to the album coming out, which was the Game of Thrones medley. It is just an absolutely mind-blowingly awesome cover of the music from Game of Thrones, and the video for it is also superb. Like I said, their videos, when they have videos out for these songs, are amazing. <laughs> Overall, Two Cellos is a wonderful example of how social media can actually connect talented people with the fans who are ready and willing to support them. Now, Score might not be their most energetic release, but it does showcase the classical side of the talented duo. The musical choices, though, are superb, and it absolutely fits with their powerful and passionate sound. 
So my top five for the week are some upcoming concerts that have me really excited. American Idiot by Green Day off of American Idiot. I don't really know Green Day's music that well, but I'm excited to see them. Silhouettes by Swallow the Sun off of Songs from the North 1. I already saw Swallow the Sun last year, but I can't wait to see them again because they are awesome. Madhouse by Anthrax off of Spreading the Disease. It'll be great to see Anthrax again. Fixation on the Darkness by Killswitch Engage off of Alive or Just Breathing. Classic Killswitch Engage song. I have not seen this band since 2006, so I haven't seen them since Jesse Leach has returned. And then finally, the concert I am most excited for, Amorphous and the song Death of a King off of Under the Red Cloud. I am so insanely excited to see Amorphous. They finally have come back to the United States. Let me know what you think of Two Cello's new album, Score, if you like their kind of music and what you think of their covers of these movie and TV show songs. And that does it for this episode of Spin Cycle, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Nice work. Good job. If you like what you saw, you can just go ahead and click that subscribe button for all videos past and future. You can also head over to my website and see all the other stuff that I do, including the books I've written. So go ahead, click stuff.